Hello YouTubers, this is Linux Mint Guy here. I am playing with something called Nerd Dictation. By the end of this video you should have a fully functioning voice interpretation system to type in whatever you want to type for you. This can be used for books or if you're doing something online like text broker. Keep in mind I'm using a fairly basic model for voice interpretation which is the reason why you're going to see errors in what it's interpreting so while you're going to have to go back and correct there's also other models available that are more accurate some of them also include punctuation which this one does not period period that's the reason why you see the word when I say it instead of the actual period also there's a solution in this video coming up because Installation of VOSC is broken in the new Linux Mint version 22, so pay attention if you'd like to see the method on how to install it. Okay, this is all I've got to do to get this program set up. I am right here on the Nerd Dictation GitHub page, and I've got to go through these steps to install it. I don't already have VOSC, which is an offline speech recognition API, so I'm just going to get on that now. I believe this is going to give me an error message. Uh. Oh, Python 3 pip. Okay, now that we've got pip installed, we need to install VOSC. The problem is you can't really install it the exact same way on this version of Linux Mint. This is what happens when you try to install it on the new Linux Mint. You get this error message about it being an externally managed environment. I was originally going to install a new Python, the version 3.9 that's out now. And I read through multiple forum pages that said, don't do this. You're going to break your Python and break your operating system. So I posted an issue on GitHub and this person here was nice enough to direct me to this other post. It seems like uh, quite a few people have already had this problem. Okay, this just deleted the file externally managed in my Python 3.12 folder in user lib. So we're going to try this again. Okay, now that we just installed VASC, we're also going to need XDO Tool. After we install this, it should work. Okay, now that I've got VOSC installed, I'm just going to clone the repo for Nerd Dictation. I'm going to go here to my apps folder to make it a little less confusing. That was fast. I'm going to grab this model. It's only a 40 megabyte model. There's much larger ones, but they do take up more RAM, so this one's kind of a trade-off. Okay, that's it. Everything's moved in the correct folder. Okay, I'm back on the Nerd Dictation homepage, and basically what I did before was this. I followed these instructions right here that says to test dictation. Now, of course, you don't want to have to go typing this in every time you actually want to use this program. So, what you want to do is modify this so it works better for you. So, the first thing I'm going to do... Oh, I'm going to make a script folder...
Nerd dictation begin. Okay, I'm going to save this file. I'm going to type in chmod plus x ndb.sh. I'm also going to need nerd dictation end. I know other people have their ways of doing this too. But this should be sufficient. chmod plus x nde dot sh okay I've already got two icons to go along with this so I'm going to see if I can make menu entries for this now okay I think a natural place for me to put this would be under sound and video so I'm just gonna right click on the start button and go to edit menu okay new item nerd dictation begin There's my script. I just go to my home folder, which has my icons. Okay, this is going to be my begin icon. And I'm just going to make one more here. Okay, hopefully this is functional. We're going to find out right now. Okay, testing, testing. Wow, I'm actually typing this document right now without having to type it. This is pretty cool. Period. Ha! Okay, so you see right there, you can't say period or question mark like you can on your phone. So you just have to type those in, unfortunately. But this is still really cool that I can actually type all this without having to touch a keyboard. And there are different models that your program can use for interpretation, but they take different amounts of RAM. Oh, I almost forgot. I have to test the end script. Okay, so this should now not be typing anything anymore. Excellent. Works just as I intended. On the Nerd Dictation GitHub page, if you scroll down the page, you're going to see a link. Okay, once this is working properly, you may want to download one of the larger language models for more accurate dictation. They're available here. Yeah, so this is the one I'm using right now. It's a 40 megabyte model. You see this one here for 1.8 gigs is definitely more accurate, but it's also going to take up more RAM. These are going to take up a corresponding amount of RAM in your system to be able to give you such accurate dictation. But there's quite a few different models here that you can choose from. Different languages. This, this program is pretty amazing here. Well, that's all there is for this video. I hope you enjoyed watching this. This is just one of these little nifty Linux tools I wanted to play with and... It works entirely offline, which is very nice. It doesn't have to send everything you say off to the internet like Google does. Thanks again for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.